Mr. Chan Kau, right? Mr. Chan Kau. Um, I'm. My name is Jeremiah Chong. I'm from the ministry, and I'm here to. I mean, shoot. Anyway, I'm here to. In line with the government's triple re strategy. The Land Ministry has decided to limit the burial period for all graves to 15 years. With limited land available, it is necessary to extend the lifespan of the country's cemeteries to cater for future burials. I am pleased to inform you that your grave will be part of phase one of this exhumation exercise, which will begin in about one month's time. Next of kin will be alerted via newspaper notices and the ministry website. Next of kin may choose to rebury the remains under the space-saving new burial system, I'll cremate the body and place it in a columbarium. Alright then, so if you don't mind Mr. Chan, I'll be back in about one month's time when you are due for exhumation. No! What was that? No! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! No, no, no! I knew I shouldn't have had that ring coming here. I said no. Talk to the stakeholder, she said. Sentiment on the ground indeed. I said no. You hear me? No, no, I don't. No. Yes, I do. Um, I'm sorry, did you say something? I said no. Um, I'm really sorry to disturb you, sir, but I've got no choice. What? No choice. I mean, look, this cemetery is only 380 hectares in size and will be used up by 2013 at the current burial rate without the 15 year burial in policy. No, my name. Your what? Name. Not Chan. Uh, are you sure? But I have your phone right here. It says, Mr. Chan Agao, this is. Not Chan Agao. But I have a leader that here is found. No, not Chan Agao. Alright, then maybe it's a clerical error or something. It's hard to find good support staff nowadays. So if you can give me your name, I could correct it for you. No, can't remember. Can't remember what? Can't name. Not Chan Agao. What about your family? No. Married, single, divorced, widow? Any children? Sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, nephews, nieces? No, I can't remember. I don't suppose you remember where you live either. No. No way. Don't run! What? No! Oh, 
just go away. Why, why can't you leave me alone? I'm trying to help you. You're trying to kick me out. But... Just go. Why can't you leave me alone? Alright, alright, I'm going. I was just trying to help you. Then what time will we go? This trip. If this trip works out, you're going to live like a queen. You look at this can. Don't have to wash clothes for people anymore. Just point, 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 and everything will be done. Queen your head, la. Trust me. You know what? You think so easy, man? See them how. Mr. Chan Agao, or whatever your name is, it's me again, Jeremiah Chong, from the East. I already told you, go away! I know, but I think I can help you regarding the commission. Nope, don't want. Yeah, yeah, I know, but if you can recall your family, if they can come and claim you, you can still request for reburial instead of commission. The exceptional circumstances, but not when you're an unclaimed grave. Someone I can track down. No, just go away. You sure you can't remember your family? Told you, I can't remember. What about your wife? No family. No, I can't remember. Nothing. And address your home? No home. I've got nothing. There's got to be something. No, I can't remember. You're not even crying, Mr. Chan. I mean, I don't even know why I'm here talking to you. You're a cop for Christ's sake. It's not that like you represent anything. You represent nothing. Just a lump of rotten flesh and bone, sticking out of the cave, and taking up unnecessary space in the ground. Why do I not bother arguing with you? You started it. I should be back in my ivory tower, on the 15th floor overlooking the CBD, in my small but perfectly climate controlled air conditioned cubicle. Sipping mocha frappuccino and swiveling around in my ergonomous chair, making sweeping policies that affect the fate of the entire nation. Not out here, squatting like a frog and sweating like a pig. I mean, it's really hot out here. Like, if I wanted to work in such circumstances, I would have become like a construction worker or something, not a bloody bureaucrat. And I can't even get a bloody coke out here. Hot. Yes, hot. Like, what? What? Hot. Hot because of the sun. Ah, oh, sun! Like what, like what? Like, burning. Like, it will burn the skin of my back. That kind of sun. That kind of hot. Burning. Yes. Like, it will burn my skin more. Since 
I was in primary school and forced to stand on the basketball court because I was punished. Ah! I remember hot. You do? Ah! my mother's funeral. When I held her hand that last time, I could still feel 
that it was warm. I could sense her still. When I closed her eyes, I saw myself there, knees torn, tugging at the corner of her dress, the memory imprinted on her retina, even as it decayed. So I told everyone, she was sleeping, not dead, but nobody listened. After the service, they built her away to be cremated. As the buzzer sounded, the oven turned on, and that's when the screaming started. I swear I could hear it. I don't know if it came from the coffin or somewhere inside my head, but it didn't stop. So please, tell me. I'm sorry. I don't know. But... Not cremated yet, what? Not yet. She loves trees. Who? Your wife? Y yes, of course. I gave one to her. Where? In the backyard. Just outside the kitchen. What kind of tree? What's the name? A tree in the backyard. Do you have any idea how many trees are planted in the backyard? Come on, I'm trying to help you. What's the name? Uh, hidden inside the fruit. What's the name? What is hidden inside the fruit? Flowers! Hidden inside the fruit. Wu Hua Guo. going bong 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 just like my noisy heart and the cars outside honking engines throbbing so I looked out the window and that's when I saw it one ordinary tree on the pavement minding its own business a fake tree the stupid tree and that was it I had to go back to the tree, to the house, to her. So I pushed my way through the bus. Everyone cursed and sweared at me. And when I reached the door, I banged on it until even the driver cursed and sweared at me. So what do I do? I cursed back lah until someone said, Oi, uncle, can move already? And that's when he pushed the accelerator. And that's when it happened. The bus lurches, people falling into people. And suddenly everyone starts spinning. The sound, the smell of burning rubber, breaking glass. A burst of heat. So hot. Someone falls across my face. I can't, I can't, I can't see. Someone screaming. 
how come so hot? My, my, my skin burning, blistering, so hot. Even my bones burning. But then I see her face in, in the flames. Through the flames, the fire. Almost when I reach her, the flames, the fire. Sometimes, some things are salvaged, in one form or another. Old school chapels are resurrected into shopping malls. Libraries, as time-saving, traffic-enhancing, gantry-guarded tunnels. Stadiums are, well, newer stadiums. A block of apartments are still a block of apartments, except newer, taller, posher. But it's never quite the same, is it? You'll like it at Mandai. No sea view, but lots of trees. If you don't mind, I'll stop over every now and then for a chat. I'm used to speaking in monologues anyway. I had a dream last night. I pushed the door and the grill ding to Asia. Immediately, it hits me. The familiar smell of bakute. I walk to the kitchen, dragging my heels across the floor. She's squatting in the kitchen, right at the doorway, her favourite spot. The fig tree waving behind her, she doesn't even turn around. But she knows I'm there. She always knows. Why are you here? Where else will you be? And I know I'm home.